Woods in the corner looking for the open shot. Had one of the sweetest jump shots in history. Out behind the three-point line. Just imagine if they had a three-point line when he was playing at Carolina. Al is going to give the ball to Pete Brennan, standing in the spot where he made the jump shot against Michigan State after Johnny Green had missed the free throw in the Friday night semifinals in 1957. Woo! Pete's going to give the ball to York Parisi. At the free throw line, he had the quickest gun in the South. But how accurate, 79.6% for his career by a free throw shooter. Throughout his entire career, little boys in driveways across North Carolina were hardly getting the ball in their hands before they were shooting it. Now York is going to pass the ball off to Bob McAdoo. in Los Angeles. Bob's going to give the ball to Charles Scott. <laughs> Standing almost right in the spot where at Cole Fieldhouse in College Park, Maryland, you made the jump shot that got the Tar Heels into a third straight Final Four. Charles is going to throw the ball to Lee. Well, he's going to bounce it to him. <laughs> He figured you could handle it better that way, right? Lee Shepard, the 1960 ACC Player of the Year and the first team All-America choice. He's going to throw it to Mike O'Cora. The only player in Carolina basketball history, the only player to rank in the school's top 20 all-time in scoring, rebounding, and assist. Mike is going to give it to Bill Chamberlain, another part of the New York City Connection. He was a former JV teammate of a gentleman who never made it up to the varsity by the name of Roy Williams. He's going to give the ball to Bobby Jones.
to J.R. Reed. He's going to bounce it or pass it over to Wayne Ellington. The 2009 Final Four most outstanding player. And a guy who during the season nailed that totally beating jumper to beat Clemson as a sophomore. He's going to give it to Lenny Rosenblum. Centennial 